Hello, everybody. Welcome to Boost Your Mental, episode number 21. I'm Michael Streeter. I'm feeling official, so I'll call myself Michael. I'm Jerry, man. I'm working out. He's working out? Okay, that was enough for this week. Oh. All those cherries from the episode before are coming oh, out. Oh, my goodness. And uh, so, here we are. Oh, sorry. Well, we'll start right off. The drink we're having, I'd like to thank uh, Dan Reed. Gave us a little complimentary bottle. Rika? Rika? Eureka? Eureka! Eureka! Um, Eureka, it's a small batch vodka, handcrafted in Iceland, from the, uh, you pronounce that. I'm not going to pronounce it because I can't read it. Oh, no, no, can't do that. Some it, island. Uh, uh, Amada e Arlende. Yeah. Okay. And it's a vodka. So we're starting right off the, right off the gate. You know, vodka, you can make vodka out of pretty much anything. Is that true or not? I would assume. I'm not an expertise. Like the, the, um, the Russian vodka is made out of potato, aren't they? Yes. Does anyone know the answer to that? What can you make vodka out of? Is it pretty much anything? I think so. We'll find out. I have no idea. Uh, well, we'll do fake tapes. Oh, know. okay. But, so let's, thank you, Dan. Um, uh, you know, vodka, I like to switch it up sometimes to vodka. The bourbon gets a little... Out of You're a big bourbon drinker, as I mentioned many times before. I used to be a big uh, Jack Daniels, and I've gotten away from it. Not that because I wanted to; I just happened to get into vodka. Yeah, and vodka's. I like a good vodka, but it can. Now, does a good vodka, like a real good vodka, give you a hangover the next day? You know what? I'll tell you what. Or is it what, what you mix with? It depends it. how much you drink for me. If you're gonna have a hangover. Yeah, I agree. Uh, do you remember when we were kids? When you used to go home and you were drunk, remember the bed you used to spin and you used to throw up once in a while? No, no. I was, I, I, well, you never threw up from drinking? Oh, hell yeah. But yeah. what was funny was, I was thinking today, I was going to ask you, do you remember the first time you ever got drunk? Um, I do. Wait, I, wait. It's, it, it, it was, it's how, pretty, how it's pretty it? pathetic. It's pretty no, pathetic. no, 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 no. How young I was. How That's young? what I'm saying. It's pretty pathetic. How, how young... Do I get it set? No, I was a little older than that. Um, I would probably say the first time I caught a buzz or got drunk was when I was probably 12, 13. Okay. I was like a senior in high school. Really? I was one of those guys. Hey, hey, hey. No, I, didn't, I was a late bloomer. <laughs> and uh, I remember, like, I never really drank. You know, I'd once in a while I have a beer. But now, when I was a kid, really a kid, like New Year's Eve, Dad would make me, like, a, uh, a screwdriver, you know. Or like if you know if you're a kid you had a toothache, what would they rub on your yeah, whiskey? Whiskey, whiskey. Yeah. yeah. And so I blame it on my parents. Yeah. And um, <laughs> my first time I ever got drunk was like it was like a day before field day. Field day was like I, know, field day. Like, you know, I didn't go to your school, but I remember what the was. classes take on each other in these Olympic kind of events. And uh, was down at uh, Dee Dee's uh, parents' house. And they lived across the old telephone. Building. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And we we're drinking uh, Strohs. Oh, we talking? Uh, we, we started with Strohs. And Stroh's had an offshoot beer called Classic Beer. I don't know if you remember that. No, I didn't. Listen. I started drinking that, and all of a sudden they had a drink called a Shooter, which I think was basically vodka and whatever juice punch you could yeah, put yeah, in. Yeah. Like, you know, one of these days we'll have kamikazes. But I started drinking those, and I started feeling good, funky, funky. Yeah. And also we're playing basketball. Remember the basketball? Yeah, like behind the, the, the telephone company. We're playing. And I'm doing like these Kareem Abdul. Really, you were like hook shots. Played the best basketball ever. And I himself. remember, like, then we went back and we're still drinking these things. I, and I think there's photos somewhere, or whatever. But I started doing. I can't even feel anything. I'm taking a batting helmet and punching yourself in the head. Right, right in the head. I'm back. <laughs> and I remember, I get on the couch and I'm like three feet from the TV, like this. <laughs> um, Dad, you been drinking? Yeah. Oh, did they ask yeah. you that? Yeah, they do. Oh, you been really? drinking? Yeah. Gonna make the school? Yep. And I remember we. And whoever picked me up the next day, we went to school, and I was like walking, like sliding up the You're wall, hung over. And Mrs. Dewey, who was a nurse, goes, "You okay, Michael?" Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of us were hung over. Well, I have. I mean, we can go hours after hour yeah. talking about stories like this. I mean, the one I have is uh, I don't remember. I think it was in high school at the time. And uh, no, I was in high school at the time. My mother had gone down to Long Island to visit her sisters or whatever, and. Uh, my cousin Jeff came up from the Bronx, and uh, my sister Jean was basically the one in charge there. A real witch. I won't use another word, but she might see that. No, she, she's great now, but back then she was a terror. I mean, she... Uh, anyway, yeah. so Jeff comes up, and he's of age that he can buy 
beer, so he buys beer. I guess I don't think I was a senior then. So he goes out and buys beer, and it's February, and there's a nor'easter coming, and it's, you know, you know the weather all day long, there's a nor'easter coming, it's going to hit us, and uh, wind's going to knock down trees, powers. You know what? We don't have school tomorrow. That, 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 was our, that was our guess. That's what you were thinking. That's what I was thinking. It's going to go below 30. It's going to be icy. We don't have school. So we freaking drank. Power went out. We drank beer after beer. I woke up in the tub. No lights on. No lights on in the house. But I wake up and I can't move my arms. I don't realize I'm in the tub. I thought I was paralyzed until I, <laughs> I was laying in a tub. But I went to school the next day. And I was so hungover. The bus driver actually stopped the bus and picked me up some coffee from the uh, Rojan Diner. Got in, told the homeroom teacher, I'm going to the nurse's station. Leave me alone. And then she sees my brother. She was the French teacher. She goes, what was the matter with your brother, Jerry? Gerard today. So Sean started talking. She goes, oh my God. <laughs> Sean was all drunk. <laughs> well, back then, they didn't cancel school with two inches of snow. Exactly. And they would they cancel school nowadays the night before. What a flurry. I know. It's like, what is this crap? You yeah, know? Yeah. You had to wait in the morning for 81 WGY. Right, right. To make the right. You're like, oh. Please, God, no. And yeah. you had to wait till they got to the T's. Yes. There's been times where you walk halfway up to the bus stop and it's like, and you just puke. Well, what are we going to talk about music now? <laughs> That's your turn. I know. We went from puke to music. I know. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we talk about albums that we feel or you feel i feel that are great albums from beginning to end i think we mentioned this we album. gotta make we gotta do this segment still i always say that we uh we mentioned this album before battle to hell mm -hmm. meatloaf i've never done meatloaf yet have i yes you have have i really are you serious <laughs> or did we just talk about it oh. no we talked about it we talked about it it was a great battle to hell starts out it's like a oh, beautiful yeah. friend we didn't talk about the album okay or was oh, we did mention it. Or was the fight's first song? No, no, it was talking about these long songs that lead up to a great song. We gotta start make, make a list. Yeah, maybe. Go. But anyway, I, okay. well, I'm gonna redo. Uh, if he does it, yeah, it's great. no big deal. Um, came out in October '77. Mm -hmm. uh, Todd Rundgren, Rund, 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 which is great. Rundgren, oh, I can. We can go. Was on. was uh, the, one of the producers or whatever? There was another guy, uh, Steinman, but yeah. I can't think of first name. Jim Stein. Jim Steinman. <laughs> Is that Simon? Yeah, and I think he helped write most of the stuff. I forgot that. I think you're right. I forgot that Rundgren was the one Yeah, 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 yeah. Sold 43 million copies. It was number 343, which I didn't know. 343 out of the best albums, 500 albums from Rolling Stone. I didn't know Rolling Stone had a 500 album, but it was 343. And I should look up that uh, list because I would like to see what number one is. I don't know. Um, Who do you think number one album of? I think, who would you guess? Oof. Rolling Stone, top now, 500. Now, are they going back to the 50, 60? I know. Whatever, 500. I don't know when the list came out. Would it be a Zeppelin one? Would it be? It might be a Beatles one. Beatles? Would it be Don McLean? Mm, I, I would be surprised mm. if it's Don McLean. Because they showed this, they, they showed artists that had multiple in the list. Oh, you know, okay. like Madonna had three yeah. in that. 500 now I know. You know but uh so that album bad out of hell is great great art on the front cover and yeah. all with a guy coming out of gray with a motorcycle and his legs are flying back and he's really buff and, and I got crazy. sick of the uh, uh the hit one of the hit songs was, which one uh you know two out of three in bed oh that was yeah it was I like you, I like you took the words right out of my mouth that's a good one that was a hit also yeah. and of course paradise uh I, here. I think the paradise by the dashboard light would be one of the favorites on that album for me only be, well, not only it's a great story and it's fun and uh Phil Rizzuto yeah of course Phil Rizzuto was great the scooter. The scooter. I holy, to... holy cow! Let's go to Mama Teresa's cannolis <laughs> in 35th Street in the Bronx, you know. Oh, uh, he was good. I don't know. Yeah. You know what kind of pissed me off when I... It didn't piss me off. It didn't piss me off. It made me realize what a fucking lazy guy I am. What is it? Is I texted you that day and you're like, Oh, listen to Kansas while I'm cleaning up my garage. I'm like, I should be cleaning up my garage. Well, this oh, oh my God, God. Here, here I go, I go again, again on another, another ramble. ramble. I just don't, I just know, don't know sometimes, sometimes when, to when to stop. stop. And, look and look at me. I actually, I actually like I know, know what I'm know talking, what talking about. about. God, I go for a, for a double espresso, double espresso vodka, vodka martini right about now. No.
What's I gonna say? Almost. Here's looking up your old address. All right. Till next time. Till next time. Hope, I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, yes. episode. Yes. And we're headed up to the Hills of the House to have well, maybe Korean barbecue ribs. Probably not going to do that myself. I'll probably do a burger or something. Burger. But thank, maybe a pizza. Thanks and again thank to you, Dan. Dan, appreciate that. It's very tasty. So we'll see you next time. That's right. So here's looking up your old address again. There you go. Shasha. Right.